What is up my rebels, Mr. Gumbrian94 here, and today I have a very interesting treat for you guys. Actually, I'm going to say very, very interesting because I hardly ever do any kind of videos like this at all, but <coughs> fucking cough won't go home like it's supposed to. I tell the guy every single day, you know, like, you're not welcome in my chest, you're not welcome in my body, you know, go pack up, go to my little brother soon, you know, I get, get him sick, but you know, apparently he doesn't listen, but... Anyways, you guys, uh, today uh, I actually have a, a tag video for you guys. I've been tagged by uh, the infamous Spectre, my best friend on YouTube, one of them anyways, and uh, by a subscriber named Fire Emblem Uchiha. Spectre is an incredible guy. Fire Emblem Uchiha, I actually, you're, you seem like, you seem like you're, you're a pretty cool sub. So uh, both of you are uh, really, really cool members of the Lord Noble Kingdom, and I will definitely, definitely take up this, uh, this challenge. All right, so basically what a tag video is, you guys, is... Uh, I answer questions that, you know, that are, like, in the tag. So, the first question is... Why am I called Mystic Umbreon 94? Well, I changed my name to Mystic Umbreon recently because I didn't like the 94 in the number. Well, I wanted to come off as more professional. Now, where Mystic Umbreon came from... Okay, so where was I? Oh yeah. So where Mystic Umbreon came from was, uh, ever since I was a child, I've always loved Gold and Silver and Crystal. Those have been, honestly, my favorite games. I love the freaking, the, the music in that game. I, uh, when I was in the, uh, the, the Kimono Dance Theater one time, I heard the little music. You guys can, can kind of hear it in the, the background. It's really, really cool music. It's like a, kind of like a Japanese orchestra, kind of, you know, like, with, like, the really, really, I don't know, like, what kind of instruments they play, but all I knew is I find it very, very exotic. But how, how I came to, like, Umbreon was that I was actually over at my friend's house across the street. Funny thing is, is we used to be next door neighbors, but I, moved, I actually moved across the street in my neighborhood. So, literally, when I was younger, I used to live across the street from where I currently live now, yeah. I moved to new, to new house on the same block because, uh, my aunt, you know, she was gonna come live with us for a year. And we didn't have enough room. But how I how I came to like Umbreon was because uh, my friend's older sister. I remember one time she was playing Pokemon Gold, and she brought out an Umbreon on her game, and I'm like, "What in the hell is that?" And she's like, "Oh, it's Umbreon." She's like, "It's one of Eevee, Eevee's like new evolutions." My mouth, my jaw was open like this for like ten seconds, and I was like, "That is so cool." I mean, look at the dang thing, dude. Actually, no, no, forget about the picture. I got a live specimen right here. I mean, look at it. It's got, it's got a gold tail. It's got freaking demonic eyes. Not trying to be weird or anything here, but the red eyes, it, it makes it look fucking majestic. You know, it, it makes it look cool. And also, it's black. Black is, is one of my favorite colors. No, I'm not goth or emo. I just, I just like the color black. I mean, and I would be wearing all black right now. I'm even wearing black freaking socks. I'm, but I'm, I'm, I'm not emo, I swear. I promise you guys, there's nothing wrong with, with, with being emo, but I mean, I don't really like the goth style, I don't like the kind of music, I don't like, some piercings are cool, some, some hair dye sick, okay, you know what, I'm not an emo, but I like the style of goth, it's fucking, it's beautiful. I would never wear it though, but I mean, you know, it's got a very, very interesting take to it, okay, black is an amazing color. But uh, yeah, Umbreon, you know, it's always had like a little special place in my heart, and uh, this little guy, you know, he's been, I bought this guy off of eBay about a month and a half ago. For like, for like 12 bucks, you know, like he, he was on there, uh, I'm like, Mom, because like at the time I was broke, I said, I said, Mama, can I buy this beautiful Umbreon Plus? And she's like, how much does it cost? I'm like, $12? And she's like, no. I gave her the puppy eyes, and she immediately, she's like, okay, okay, Mystic, you can buy, actually, John. John's actually my real name, by the way, I have no problem giving that away. But she's like, okay, Mystic, you can buy it, John, you can buy this thing. And so I did, and Umbreon, you know, he's always been, like, my, my best friend ever since I was a kid. Now, how I got Mystic, however, um... He looks mystical, doesn't he? Alright, next question is... How old are you, and what are your first memories of Pokemon? Well, I am 20. I am one year below 21. Uh, basically, the first Pokemon game I ever played was Pokemon Red. But as a child, um, you know, I was like six years old. Actually, no, I was actually five or four years old when I first started Pokemon. I'm a, I am a natural, I'm a veteran. 
basically. I, I've been a Pokemon forever, but I, I never owned, I was never able to own like a Nintendo 64 or, you know, a, a Super Nintendo Entertainment System because my, my parents thought a video games is bad until I turned six or five or four. I don't fucking know. They thought that me having like an, an, a Nintendo 64, you know, like would keep me away from my score. So like, okay, you know what? We'll buy a Game Boy. Well, guess what, mom and dad? Look at me now. I, I, I'm a Pokemon YouTuber. I play video games almost every single day. What now? Just play it out. I love you guys. If you guys are watching this, probably my, my mom's probably watching this right now. Hi, Mama Glaceon. If you are, love you, Mom. Uh, but anyways, uh, she's probably... Okay, back to my story. Okay, so basically, uh, I was but a Game Boy in, uh, back in like 2000, 1999, and I got a Pokemon Red version. Now, you know, as a six-year-old child, you know, five-year-old, four-year-old child, I can't even remember, like, actually, I was four or five, one of those ages, but, you know, as, as a young child, I couldn't read. I remember I just got the Charmander, and I... I started off with actually Bulbasaur, actually. Bulbasaur, fuck Charmander. Tr Charmander is a fan service. Squirtle's okay, but Bulbasaur, that is my OG Pokemon. Thir third favorite Pokemon in, in the chain. I, li I like Ivysaur more, but Bulbasaur is definitely my top five favorite. Ivysaur, Bulbasaur, Venusaur is alright. The Bulbasaur's always had, you know, like a special place in my heart, so you no, know, I've. I, I was playing through the games, you know, I was just killing things for fun, you know. By the time I, I got to, like, the first gym, my Bulbasaur was like, already in Ivysaur, like, level 25, and. After, you know, like, I beat the first gym leader, I couldn't make my way through Mountain Moon, so I got completely lost. So, one year later, my grandma actually buys me, a uh, Pokemon Silver. And, you know, with me, I, I was like, oh my god, that is so amazing, the game has color in it now, so, you know, I, I'm going around. <clears throat> you know, my cousin actually got me into Pokemon, my, my cousin, uh, he was, uh, he... He, he was playing Pokemon Gold when we were there, and uh, he was actually showing me the ropes. He was showing me, you know, like, oh, yeah, this is, like, how you capture Pokemon, you know, like, this is, like, like, like the way you have to go here, so. I have, like, my little Cyndaquil Typhlosion thingy. I, I only did it with one Pokemon, though, the whole entire time, because I had no idea, you know, that training other Pokemon would actually be beneficial. So, literally, I went around, like, the whole entire, like, you know, the game with just a level 5 Cyndaquil, you know, I got all, all the way up to level 100. I, uh, I beat down all the fucking trainers in one shot. I thought I was like a badass guy until I battled my neighbor across the street, aka uh, the older sister who introduced me to Umbreon. Well, yeah, I battled her younger brother and I got stumped because he had five level 100s. He had an Almastar, a Pidgeot, uh, damn, I can't even remember the rest. I think even like, like a Mewtwo or something. Th this kid was like a Game Shark maniac. And this kid, like, totally, like, totally, like, beat my ass. And I was like, how did you beat me? I said, I spent so much time with Typhlosion. He's like, my Pokemon are better than yours, you know, I, uh, <clears throat> five level 100s are better than one. I'm like, well, I guess you're right. So, basically, I, after that, since then, I trained my Pokemon, I tra trained all six of my Pokemon, you guys have obviously seen my Nuzlocks, but the one thing that I remember the most is probably Dragon's Den and Gold and Silver. I am a humongous Johto fanboy, and honestly, every time when I see Johto, I, I just get so fucking excited, like, when I found out that that, that Ryza wanted to do Sick of Gold and Storm Silver, I jumped out of my chair and like, in my house. I was like, yes, I'm going back to Johto again for the third time, so I actually have uh, three Johto games on my channel. I have Crystal Soul Rats, Soul Silver. Uh, I actually, do, I've done a Crystal Let's Play. That was, uh, that was okay. Some of you guys liked it, some, some of you guys didn't. I had a fucking, I had a blast doing it, even though Entei Raccoon, even though Entei and Raccoon would, wouldn't cooperate. God, I was pissed. And uh, I'm also playing, you know, Sacred Gold and Storm Silver with the Ryza. You know, Johto, it's it's amazing. And Dragon's Den, uh, it basically it has like this, this. I'll, I'll play now. Da, na, 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 na. You know, it 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 knows that that there are like dragons around, and you got yourself a badass Pokemon popping in here. And then I remember the first day I saw Lance's Dragonite, I'm like, <sighs> forgive me, that was that was kind of disgusting. But actually, no, you, you guys didn't hear that. Fast forward. Okay, but uh, ever since I saw, you know, like, like, like a Claire's Dragonair, it, her, her Kindra, especially if you guys have seen my top five favorite Pokemon video, you guys know damn well, I love Kindra. And basically, you know, I loved, I loved Claire. Claire is, Claire is actually my childhood Pokemon crush. I'll totally admit that to you guys. Claire, you know, she's really, really cute. Got her little blue hair. She, she's got her majestic Kindra, you know, like they're, what a Kindra. I actually had a Kindred named Precious when I was younger, by the way. <clears throat> it was kind of cool. I mean, no, it, it, it's blue, you know? I named it Precious, you know? Because it's fucking Precious, you know? I, like, you can hug the damn thing. Not as much as my baby here, though. No, 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 you can't hug a Kindred as much as you can this thing here. And for all the Gengar fans who hate Umbreon, you guys are just jealous. But yeah, um... 
that's pretty much why uh, what I remember most of the Pokemon is Dragon's Den and all the Dragon types, Lance and Claire. All right, let's move on to the next question. Next question is. What was your first Pokemon game? Well, I actually kind of already answered that in the last question. My, my first Pokemon game was uh, Pokemon Red <clears throat> and Pokemon Gold. Uh, but, you know, I didn't understand Pokemon Red, so I actually didn't know everything until Pokemon Gold. I basically just explained that in the last question, so let's move on to the next one instead. <laughs> what does Pokemon mean to you? Um, <coughs> Pokemon is... Pokemon has had a big impact on me in my life. Pokemon's been there for me when I've been depressed. Pokemon's been there for me when I've been bored. Umbreon's been there ever since I can remember. You know, I've... Pokemon has, has always made me happy. Even now, you know, as, as a 20-year-old adult, I, I love playing Pokemon every single day. I love entertaining you guys as an audience. And for me to even be on here on YouTube right now at over 900 subscribers is just... I feel like I could cry, honestly, because, like, this is like a dream come true, and I know, you know, that every single day that we get more and more subscribers, more and more support, you know, our views go up, our subscriber count goes up, and I swear, I, the other day, I almost got in tears because, you know, this is like a dream come true, you know, for someone like me, what the hell was that? Okay, that was weird. But, you know, it's a dream come true for me, you know, to play the game I love the most, <clears throat> in front of an audience and actually get to talk to other fans that actually look up to me, you know, as kind of like an inspiration. I know that some of you guys actually look up to me as like an inspiration, you know, honestly, that is like the most, that's the most heartwarming thing, you know, that you could ever give a guy like me because my life, you know, it hasn't necessarily been like the greatest. I made some pretty, pretty bad mistakes in the past and, you know, I really, really regret them. My whole idea for Poketubing was, uh, me and Purple Red Plaza, he's not Poketubing anymore though, unfortunately, but, um, you know, I was inspired by a couple people that started Pokemon, actually. Pimpinette was one of them. Pimpinette is incredibly cool. He does <clears throat> Pokemon videos and whatnot. He does, like, battles and stuff like that. I'm actually get, getting more into the what if you... Into, like, the, the more, more of the channel category. But Pokemon, to me, is basically, like, my, my everyday life. Like, I'm always on Pokemon. I'm always talking about Pokemon. Pokemon is always on my mind. Even when I'm in class, I'm, I'm thinking about Pokemon. Pokemon is, like... I can honestly say, out of everything that's going on in my life right now, Pokemon is at least 50% of my life. The other 35 is like school, and like, like the other 15% is like family and friends. I mean, I pay attention to my family, obviously, but I don't really talk to them much because, you know, I'm usually on the computer, I'm usually at school, but you know, I love my family. Kind of like I said before, you know, like with my mom, so like that. <coughs> well, actually, put family is uh, 35% and school is 25% because school is, yeah, school's okay. But yeah, that's what Pokemon means to me. Pokemon is, uh, big in my heart. Pokemon is incredible. And if you guys are, you know, like, still, you know, get, like, get, in, get in, into Pokemon, you guys don't know what you're missing. Pokemon is, like, my life. I've been watching the anime. I, I watched the anime. I remember waking up every single morning on, uh, on Saturdays at 9 o'clock, watching Kids WB, and I always used to be, like, I, 9 o'clock, you know, like, I, I gotta wake up, and I remember the Pokemon... I watched the original, but you know, the original to me, what the hell is that noise? Are, and, am I being robbed? Okay, I guess not. But I remember, uh, I, I don't know what the fuck that noise is out there, god dang. Is this paranormal activity or something like that? Come here, buddy! My dog's coming downstairs now, thank god for that, okay. So, I remember, I remember, like, always uh, waking up in the morning on Saturday mornings, you know, Pokemon, watching the Johto theme song, but Pokemon Johto! Everybody wants to be, you know, like the, the, the song would pop on, and <clears throat> I, it was it was incredible, you know, like, I, I got to wake up, I got to see my, my favorite hero, Ash. Ash sucks now, by the way. The original games, Pokemon Johto, Hoenn, you know, those were, th those were really good old days of the anime, but what reminds me most about Pokemon in the anime was Ash's uh, Bayleaf. Ash's Bayleaf was adorable. Come here, buddy! Want to come say hi to the subscribers? Let's take off a little dome off your head. Come here, bud. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come here. Come here. There you go. Come here. Hi. Say hi to the subscribers, buddy. Wave to them. Say hi. This is my dog. His name is Rex. Isn't he adorable? Come here, buddy. Good boy. You missed me, huh? 
I miss you too, bud. But yeah, waking up every single morning on Saturday, you know, like watching Pokemon, you know, it, it played a really, really good effect on my childhood. And it, you know, I, I, I would always used to like talk to my friends about it at school and stuff like that. And we would honestly get into like these deep ass conver like conversations about it. It was just insane. And we'd always used to talk about like Ash's Pikachu. Pikachu got its ass beat by actually, it be beat Bellatius, but for some reason it got taken down by a fucking... What is your problem, dude? Why are you shivering? It's all good. He got beaten down by, uh, by a Panpour. And you know, Panpours suck compared to Pikachu that just took down a Legendary, right? Okay. I sh I'm gonna go to the next question immediately. Alright, so we're at number five. Why have you made this channel? Um, I made this channel because, like I said before, I love Pokemon, I love playing the game I love the most. You know, actually having an audience and actually entertaining people is incredible. I like to commentate. I'm actually thinking about getting into broadcasting rather than being an English major now because I've had so many people tell me, you know, like, you got you got the great voice of a commentator. You know, you, you, you have your own channel where you entertain the audience. So like, like, why can't you do broadcasting? So I'm like, you know what? I'm actually going to do, um... A broadcasting major now, thanks to you know my YouTube channel, and I think broadcasting would be like like uh, up my alley. I might like uh, I don't know, what, I don't know what kind of stuff I, I like. I like to broadcast, but you know, maybe something. But you know, who knows? Maybe I may even be like the news anchor on CNN for like for crying out loud. I have no idea. But basically, the the, the main thing that got me in in, in this channel was uh, my love for Pokemon and uh, Pimp Knight. You know, Pimp Knight made like a lot of Wi-Fi battles LPs. I'm not gonna say anyone like. I'd say, I guess Hardy Tech Yo-Yo kind of played a part in me uh, starting Pokemon videos because I remember, you know, watching him and I'm like, hey, you know what? I like Pokemon, you know, like, why can I do that too? Pokemon has played, like, a, a big role in my life, so, you know, I want to share my love for the game and for the subject to other people, to, to other fans around the world. And that's what I'm doing right now, you know, we're about to hit 1,000 subscribers. I'm, I, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, with, with the rate that, we, that we've been growing, I'm thinking that we're probably going to hit 1K subs by next week, you guys. We're moving really, really quickly, and you know, that is just, that's just mind-boggling, mind-boggling to think that we're actually moving that fucking fast. It is outrageous. Pokemon, you know, it's, it's my thing. You know, it's, like I said before, it's like my, my, my everyday life. So, I started Pokemon, I started my, my Pokemon channel because, for love, uh, for the love of the game, good song by the way, and for, uh, just for the sake of me loving Pokemon, I guess. I really have nothing to say about why I started my channel, because I love Pokemon, and I, and I love to play the games, and I, I, I like to commentate. And, you know, being a Pokemon YouTuber, you know, has, has always been, you know, kind of my dream ever since, like, two years ago. So, I mean, I'm doing it now, you know, we're doing great. For 1K subs, we're also going to be doing vlogs, and you guys can see, like, like more personal stuff about me and Pokemon. But the, uh, the last question is... is what can I expect? Well... I don't know, you guys. What can I expect? We're growing at, at a freaking outrageous rate. Good boy. Look, he's such a good dog. But what can I expect? Basically, we're already grown at a super ginormous rate. We have nine over nine hundred hundred subscribers. With the way that that we're grown now, I can all I can honestly say, you guys, we're gonna have five k to ten k subs by the end of next year. Because this is ridiculous, like, how fast I've been growing. And, you know, as soon as, like, you get, like, the more subs you have, the faster you're going to grow. <sighs> Someone's on the keyboard. Strange. Yeah, the, the more subs you have, you know, the faster that you're going to grow. And, you know, every single bit of content that I do, I get better at commentating, you know. You guys down in the comment section, you guys giving me likes, you guys giving me feedback. You guys are what, are what inspires me. To keep on going, and you know I have my own self determination. I want to make Pokemon in. I want to make my Pokemon YouTubing. I want this to be like a dream come true. I am so passionate about when it comes to my channel. I come home every single day. You know, like I come on here, I, I see the likes, I see the comments. I'm super, super happy. So you know, I'm here because you know I love to make Pokemon videos. I love, I love having an audience for crying out loud. It's it, it just makes. It makes life, you know, so much better, you know, so, so much more cooler. Because, you know, all the people I know, all they do is, is they go to school and they go to work. John, I get to come home and I get to entertain an audience full of awesome subscribers. That is honestly what I can expect for, for my channel. I can definitely expect great things. 
We are looking alive right now, you guys. We are at over 900 subscribers, and we are going to get big and bigger and bigger every single freaking day of this year until we hit 5K or 6K. You know, how many ever subs we hit? You know what? Spread the word about Mystic Umbreon 94, you guys, and I guarantee we're going to be humongous. I expect the greatest, nothing but the greatest of this channel, because this channel is great. You guys are great. And, you know, with, with all these subs piling in, with, with all this audience piling in, it, it just makes me motivated and just, it, it, it just makes me want to go. So overall, what do you expect? You can expect great content and you can expect a hell of a time on my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. You guys are an amazing audience and if you guys haven't done it yet, please be sure to fan tag the hell of a like button and subscribe. The last question is... Who do I tag? I tag Demonic Kiddo. Bisharp 24 Queen, Irizo, and Night Night Leon. Night Light Neon. God, now I, now I feel stupid, but if your name was uh, tagged, you are it, and I would like to see some videos popping up. So once again, guys, uh, if you like the video, please be sure to fan tag the hell of a like button. And above all, guys, keep it rebellious. I'm out of here. Thanks for st sticking by or st sticking by, you know, watching, staying tuned, whatever the fuck you want to call it phrase, but I'm out of here. Sorry, guys.